Hi, welcome to Prophecy. This is Diggin the Bi, DTV for short, and I'm Diggin. Uh, the subject I'd like to talk to everybody about is this um, September 23rd and um, perusing um, the internet and YouTube and so on and so forth, I've come to um, understand that there is a lot of people um, um, referring to September 23rd, 2017 um, to be the possible day of the rapture. And the rapture being that um, uh, uh, who, who has been chosen to be lifted and uh, not have to deal with um, a lot of the persecution that is going to happen on this earth um, pertaining to um, people that uh, say they love Jesus and um, when it came right down to the nitty gritty, um, they were they were lukewarm, and <laughs> that really that's not that's really not in a good position to be with anything. I mean, in any relationship and pertaining to anything, uh, lukewarm. I mean, if you're half hearted at, at, at anything, well, that's that half heartedness will eventually um, catch up to you. Now, you might say, um, Digan, how do you how, how do you know, you know, that the twenty third isn't um, the day of the rapture. Well, I'm going to uh, be really, really forward. Um, everything that I've learned, I've learned, um, yes, from from scripture, definitely, um, um, and listening to people that um, were teachers. Um, but more than anything, where I learned um, I would be lifted in the spirit. Um, and at that time, um, I was, really wasn't interested in names, titles, so on and so forth. Um, and during these experiences, I'd be taken to different levels of heaven. I'd be taken forward in time, backward in time. Um, I learned a great deal. Uh, as far as I have been, I've made it up to the seventh heaven, um, but I wasn't allowed to go any further than that. And um, uh, of course, I was feeling a little disappointed, but I understood at that point in time that uh, I would have to be in 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 um, a, a different situation, different, you know. So I'm going to say, ready to leave this particular body and just let my spiritual body go without the intention of ever coming back. But because I was to come back, um, the guide had said to me, um, take everything in, and when you go back into your physical body. Um, let the world know about this. Now, this has been happening since I was about two years old. Yep, two years old, I remember it like it was yesterday. And I was lifted. And I remember the voice of many thunders. I remember what he looks like. Um, so, um, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say that that was Michael uh, uh, with the brown curly hair. And as I was coming back down to earth, uh, I remember seeing the golden cup, the golden chalice. Uh, of course, I didn't understand then what that meant. I mean, I was like two years old. And uh, but when I did come back into my body, um, during that time frame, I was living in an orphanage. And uh, um, the nuns were really taken back by my quoting scripture and explaining scripture to them and telling them, um, hey, look at this is not what that meant. And this is what is meant. And the, they were just, they're like, you're not even of age to read. How can you quote scripture like this? 
Well, that really didn't get me very far. I got punished for that by a mother superior, slapped me in the face and said, God talked to you, you were lifted. I've been serving God all of my life. Why wouldn't I have seen God? Why wouldn't I have been lifted? Why wouldn't I have seen an angel? And in turn, I just said to her, because you hit kids, that's why. And no, God will not show himself to you because you hit kids. And so, you know, we could imagine how that went. Um, the nuns would sneak me off in the back of the orphanage uh, behind big rocks and they would ask me to continue to minister to them because they just could not believe. I mean, they did believe, but they just could not believe that at such a young age, God would choose a child, you know, but then well, why not? God chose a child to be born and, you know, um, at the age of two, I'm pretty sure that Jesus was ministering, even though people might not look at it that way, but I'm pretty sure he was sharing things with his brothers and sisters and, you know, his stepdad and, and his mom, and they both really loved God. And that's why they were chosen. Um, uh, it must have absolutely delighted them going, wow, you know, I totally get it now. And what an honor, what an honor that is. So that's just a little bit, you know, uh, just a little tiny area of, of, uh, of my background, I guess. I, I was born with different gifts. Discernment was one of them. Um, I'm not going to apologize. Um, um, I really struggled with this as a kid growing up because who was I going to confide in? So I went from church to church to church to church, and uh, I would think, oh, my God, my poor mom. I, she'd wake up in the morning, and I'd be gone, and she'd be looking for this kid. And, you know, I totally related when I just went, I was in church. <laughs> and she's like, what? You know, I was trying to find the right church, you know, somebody that, that I could say, hey, look at it. You know, I, I'm seeing all these things, I get lifted, I'm taught all these things, and, you know, I really need, you know, to be in an environment where somebody loves God and loves Jesus as much as I do. And um, I did finally end up uh, settling on a church, but it really, you know, put my mother through the ringer because she would wake up and I'd be gone and she'd get a chain for on top of the door and I'd find a way to get up on there and open the door and I'd, off I'd go. And so I'd be looking for all these uh, different churches. Um, and, and then she finally just went, look, you know, it, you know, let me know what church you're, you're going to check out because I'm so afraid. And um, um, so I, I did, you know, I would leave her um, on the table, leave her notes, mom, Mommy, I went here. Mommy, I went to this church. I went to that church. In order for her to know that, that where I was, so if she needed to come check or look for me, she'd find me and she'd be reassured that her child was safe. So um, uh, one, of my, one of my journeys, um, uh, what I found, um, well, what would happen, let me back up a little bit here. What would happen is... Um, um, uh, I would be able, like I said, I was taken through time. So I'd be able to jump into different pockets of time. And um, sometimes I would be in people's bodies and sometimes I would just be there. Um, but I was always with a guide, an angel, um, or, or, or an ancient as I, was, as I would call them at that time. And um, I, I've got a couple of, of, of really what I would call really nifty experiences that are a little bit out there. Um, and I have shared them. And, you know, through time sharing them, people are like, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah got, got it. But then, you know, different things like, you know, scripture itself, uh, in one incident, uh, Time magazine uh, wa uh, was the magazine that confirmed what I had seen and, um, um, and what the confirmation was, because I had said, um, uh, Peter, uh, Peter was divorced twice, and Peter was really afraid of relationships with females, because... Um, uh, he, he was really hurt. Um, the second uh, marriage, even more so than the first marriage. So he was a little disgruntled, I would say. And, and uh, that was just an itsy bitsy corner of, of, of this particular experience, which I'll end up uh, um, sharing in prophecy. But today I want to talk about the rapture. Today I want to talk about September 23rd. 
So Time Magazine, I'm going to say, I don't know how many years later, um, they wrote an article about Peter and they stated that Peter was divorced twice and so on and so forth. And, you know, my my uh, retort or, or, or the only thing I had to say after that was, booyah! I told you that they would take me to see the Lord. I told you that they would take me to scripture. I told you that they would show me these things. And they told me these things because they want me to talk about it. And of course, you know, um, you know, when you're, when you put yourself in a position like this, you put yourself in a position where you're a target, <laughs> you know, you're going, hello, if you don't like what I say, crucify me. So I'm going to beg you don't. <laughs> and the reason I'm saying don't is because I have a heart like you. I have feelings like you. I'm not afraid. You know, I'm not afraid of the truth. And and the Lord, he will always back me up on this one. He's never deserted me. So I don't see why he should desert me now. And oh, by the way, you know, if there is anybody here, you know, watching this, that is really uncertain as to whether, you know, Jesus is actually real. Is the Christ alive? Is there really an anointing? Oh, yeah absolutely and throughout all of this this is the reason why i started this is i do want to share absolutely everything with everybody because there's a lot of tug of wars there's people arguing about who's right and who's wrong what side is that and you know i stop and i go what is the point in in people continuing to throw stones when we need to look up because there's a lot of stones coming our way and you know we've been throwing stones for a lot of years killing people by doing so crucifying burning hanging beheading all of it all of it and none of it none of it none of it is allowed so you know they're finally they've had enough so they're going okay you want to throw stones well you know what we've got the biggest stone that's it you know, and God's allowing it because God's saying, hey, this is what you want. Now, you know, which and that and that will take me to Jesus. And I will explain why Jesus is the salvation. Mm -hmm. And it is only through Jesus that you can get to the father, that you can get to the mother, that you can get to heaven. People are told, you know, he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. Only through Jesus are you going to be saved. And people are going, yeah, 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 yeah. But there's never really an understanding why. We are told God gave his only begotten son. So therefore, it is this. It is because of his sacrifice that we can only get to heaven through Jesus. But there's a little bit of a twist there. And and even though people hear that, okay, it's not clicking. It's not clicking. And the reason it's not being absorbed and the reason it's not clicking is, well, we live in a real seductive and sultry time. And, you know, if it doesn't feel good or it's a little bit uncomfortable or we don't understand it or we think there's going to be restrictions or we think we're not going to be able to do our dirty little deeds in the dark. I mean, there's multiple different reasons, you know. Um, uh, um, and, and like I said, uh, I, I'm going to get to that and I'm going to do a whole lot of talking because uh, God bless me. And God bless me with the truth of things. You don't have to believe me. Um, I always say, hey, look, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> you know, if you don't find the pudding, which you will, and you don't find the proof in that pudding, which you will, then yeah, absolutely, you throw the first stone. I don't have a problem with it. I'll, I'll take it graciously. But this is not about me. This is not about me taking things graciously. This is about all of us. This is about humanity as a whole. And we do need to understand how important we are to God, to each other, to ourselves, to our heavenly brother from another mother. Well, from the original mother, not another mother, because she's our mother as well. And God is our father as well. So, so um, um, I, I will get to that. So. Um, in one of my in one of my experiences, um, um, I actually remember falling asleep, and um, 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 who I call an ancient uh, came 
And um, I was told that I was going to be brought to a very important time frame. And um, I needed to understand. I needed to see firsthand. So I, in turn, could tell Jesus's brothers and sisters, God's children. We're his children as well, of course. But um, uh, so, so I could tell them, hey, look at this is how it's going to go down. Uh, don't be fooled. Don't be, you, you know, a, you know, pulled in different directions or or be made to stray from from the truth. So um, I was always really happy. I was really eager. You know, when I was a little girl, I wanted to marry Jesus. My whole world was about Jesus, and uh, it's still that way. I guess I'm still a little girl, you know, and now, and now all, all the more because I do have the understanding. I do have the truth. I have been given grace. I have been blessed and, you know, they have taken me um, up and down on all levels. So I did have the understanding. So I in turn could, could share this. So this is, 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 is about September 23rd. Now I, I have seen some things that have really, uh, put me um, um, in situations where I felt dire. I felt dire. In 1997, um, they, an angel came and said, um, um, you have all these questions and now is the time that um, um, you're to be given the truth about, about these facts, about these matters. And I was really stoked. Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of questions, you know, like, like who told, you know, who came up with the alphabet and, you know, I, I mean, we're talking about all these different questions. And, and so th th this one particular journey where I was jumped through, through time, um, because I've been jumping through time for a while, um, I saw a couple of really horrific things. Horrific. This isn't to, uh, I'm not a fear monger. This is not to instill fear. This is for you to wake, 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 wake the baby up. You need to wake up. We all need to wake up. We need to disconnect somewhat from our material world. I mean, we need to live in it. So we need to, you know, eat, sleep, put a roof over our head, keep warm, plant, work you know, do our, do our parts while, while we're here. And, you know, all of it, all of it is part of our training. All of it is a part of our spiritual work. I mean, even with working with our hands. So these really horrifying things that um, I have seen, um, one of them, and I didn't know what, I didn't know then, um, I didn't remember um, about Nibiru. And I woke up just screaming, just screaming from this nightmare. So, um, and I will share that. Um, uh, and so that's very real. A. Uh, uh, B, another time, um, again, it was pertaining to Nibiru. And um, I had seen, uh, I was in America and I was taken there by um, Isaiah. And uh, when I was taken there by Isaiah, it was specific. And these prophecies were specific. They were specific to America. And um, uh, uh, this I'm going to talk about right now because it has everything to do with September 23rd. So, uh, I'm going to back up a sec. When I jumped forward, um, I landed in a period. I, I was really kind of like stumbled. And it took me a second. I'm, I'm like, where am I? And uh, I was told, Earth. And I was looking around and going, wow, okay, this is not exactly how I remember it. Like, what, what, what happened here? What went down here? Um, um, and there was people all around and they had their arms up into the heaven. And I said to this one woman, I said, uh, what is everybody doing? She looked and she said, everybody's praying. I said, well, that's really good. I'm all for prayer. I believe in prayer. And I said, can I ask what about like everybody's praying, like everybody's standing still and everybody's praying. And she said, we're giving thanks to God. 
And I said, wonderful. Okay, I want in on this. You know, what, what are we giving our thanks to God for? And she said, uh, we would all be dead if it wasn't for the divine intervention of our Lord. And I said, how is that? And she said, um, uh, we had a planet. It was a, a comet, actually. It was hurtling or hurling um, toward Earth. And I was like, dang, okay, so is this why everything looks the way that it does? And by the way, what it looked like was desolate. And she said, yes. And she said, uh, through divine intervention, she said, it was as if Jupiter just came out dancing, you know, knowing what was going to happen and sacrificed itself. And it hit Jupiter and Jupiter broke into and because Jupiter did that, Jupiter saved mankind. And I was like, okay, dokey, artichokey, I think this is a bit large. And I'm not really too sure what to do with that. Um, so I remember asking um, about a time frame. And I can't remember if she said four or 40. I really can't. And that was the time frame from when they were praying. Um, uh, and giving thanks to uh, when, when it had happened. And so um, when I did end up coming back, um, I, I really didn't know if it was Neptune, Uranus, or, 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 or Jupiter. And as it turned out to be, uh, as time turned out to be, it ended up being Jupiter. And so, okay, so as I was uh, saying, um, uh, uh, I, they watched Jupiter make this sacrifice. And like I said, I looked around and everything was desolate. And I'll be really frank. I mean, before anybody, okay, yeah, I, I was lifted. I was taken there. And, and I was like, oh, mother. Okay, I was, I was to see this. Uh, and that's just the beginning. I was meant to see this and and um, I'm to tell people this and is there like is there anything good that's gonna come out of this exactly like what do I tell them we are hooped um, um, and of course yeah there there definitely was actually there was a little bit of a chuckle um, I which I know sometimes I can be annoying even to them <laughs> uh, but uh, when I looked, because the angel said, look, so I looked to the left and I could see um, the horizon. And uh, what actually, you know, uh, just, just, just before this, when I was still talking to, to that woman, what really freaked me right out was, um, um, even though it would have been like our afternoon, it looked like dusk. There was maybe four hours of light um, but light, like I said, it looked like dusk. Um, I could see the sun, um, and it seemed closer, but I couldn't feel any heat. There was no heat coming from it. Uh, the moon was pretty much right beside it, um, and that moon radiated more light than the sun. Um, and I was going, this is really, you know, I didn't understand it. When I woke up, I said, what does this mean? You know, they were so close. I felt like I could just reach up and, and touch them, you know, but yet there is, there is no real light. There is no real, real heat. And what would cause that? I didn't understand that. And, um, um, you know, the answers I got were, uh, you know, from nuclear, so on and so forth. But, but when I was there and, um, I was asking the guide, um, I, I had asked the guide, like, 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 what had happened here? Like, you know, this is not the world we just came from. 
And so um, uh, the angels started to explain, and as I looked straight ahead on the horizon, our skies were black, they were red, and in the very far distance, it seemed where you could see a bit of yellow. So there was some type of sun somewhere, but it was really far away from us. It really was at a distance. And, you know, our horizons are going to look entirely different as well. We, we have a limited view, um, um, but we're going to be able to see, that's a fact, uh, for miles and 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 miles. And so the angel had said to me um, uh, that a piece of one of the comets had actually hit the earth. And I was like, what? And he reiterated um, a piece of a comet had hit the earth and it was infected. I said infected and then um, bim, he or I was in the same area but I was brought to a different time period. And in this time period, I, you know, I mean, the more I experienced, the more it really freaked me out. Because I was like, oh, we really are going to hell in the handbasket. And if we don't wake the beep, 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 beep up, we've got nobody to blame but ourselves. Okay, because all the truth is out there. It's all out there. It's a matter of it being taught properly. And it's a matter of people... Uh, having an understanding and the people that are teaching need to make sure that other people understand, you know, because <laughs> when I say that the world is going to help because the world has become perverted, perversion is on multiple of different levels. And believe you me, you know, the lustful we desire we have to, to, to appease and please our physical bodies and pride and it is it, it it literally is the death of us it literally is you know uh you know when al pacino stated in that movie that vanity is you know that lucifer said vanity is the biggest sin i really believe that i mean it's right up there with murder you might as well be doing the exact same thing. You know, you self, you, you know, you, you self love and despise everybody else. And anybody that is in your life has to do with it being a personal gain, whether it is political or not religious or not. There's people in power, people in power in churches, and it's all about self-gratification, and it's about the big old ching, 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 because some way, somehow, they think that, you, you know, while they're here, they're going to get, you know, get it while it's good, and while it's good, they're going to, you know, if changes need to be made, they have all the time in the world, and I'm here to tell you, yeah, you don't. You don't. And so... I went, ew, okay, this is really not good. Really, 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 really not good. And um, uh, there's other information that I will put in uh, during that time frame um, that I will put in in another video right after this one here. Um, uh, and, and jumping back in, 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 into, into our time, I was brought to America, like I was saying, by Isaiah, and uh, that really, that was, that was, that was really something in itself, these experiences, um, you know, people, people that, that are, it's a lot to take in, it really is a lot to take in, and when you do come back to this earth and you see how mankind reacts and what mankind, what's important to mankind, you grieve. You cry. You cry because, you know, it all leads to death. And then you cry because you cannot stop these people from committing suicide, because that's what it is. And then you cry because you're going, uh, what's it going to take for me to tell you, hey, look it, we're blowing it. And then I thought about what Jesus said. And Jesus said, hey, look it, if they hated me and killed me, they're going to hate you and kill you. And I thought, yeah, you know what, Diggin, that was pretty pompous of you. 
<laughs> you know, to think that maybe, 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 maybe. But, you know, I'm not going to give up. A disciple is a disciple. And, yeah, I do work for the Lord. And believe you me, um, even in all my relationships, it doesn't matter what the relationship is. Um, the Lord comes first. The Lord is the center of my life. And, and if anybody, you know, tries to, to sway me differently or even imposes, um, no, I guess I'll take a bullet. I'll take that bullet, you know, because I know a, I'm not going to die. B, I know Jesus loves me and C, I know where I'm going. So, uh, you know, I do have to say to anybody, you know, if we are encountered, because eventually we will all encounter death, you know, just remember that, you know, actually, you know, get to know what you need to know now, get to know our Lord now, because I am going to explain that relationship and why it is important. People haven't explained it. In all the years I went to church and all the churches I've gone to, I have been so disappointed and so hurt because I'm waiting for them to tell me what God did. And yep, well, that's the way it is. Now, I'm not saying that everybody, you know, there's other people like me out there. God doesn't choose just one person and go, hey, you know what? I'm going to give you the gift of sight, the gift of discernment. I'm going to give you this gift, that gift, so on and so forth. And oh, by the way, you're on your own with this. Yeah, it doesn't happen that way. You know, at times we might feel that way because like I said, we do carry the burden because we can't make people see or understand. Hey, look, the most important thing is love you me that's the most important thing us go bigger right we're schmucks most of the time we're schmucks because we haven't gotten there so one of these journeys where i said isaiah brought me to the usa and this is where i am honing in on september 23rd because i'm really praying that what i had seen is not going to happen September 23rd and I really weigh heavy my heart really weighs heavy because my mind keeps telling my heart you know the word of God is true you can't change it if that's the word of God that's the word of God I don't care what scientist you are astronomer you are technician you are how great you are when it comes to being on a computer or on the web it does not matter even if it's written in stone like jesus said i'll tear this whole church down and rebuild it in three days and they went you're nuts it took this long the reason I'm saying that is because I don't know how many people have said to me, oh, nope, 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 nope. And I'm always having to say to them, what do you not understand about God? He keeps giving us miracles again and again and again when things are engraved in stone. He wants us to know he's God. He can change it. The only thing that is written in stone is our salvation, but we don't even want that, apparently. So I'm going, okay. And I kept asking Isaiah, what was this about? And uh, I was on the northern part of the USA, um, uh, bordering with Canada, and I was taken right across, and I was shown each state individually. And um, as we were moving downward uh, toward uh, south of, of, of America, Mexico, um, I kept hearing a woman crying. But you could tell she wasn't an older woman by the tone of her, her, her crying. And I said, as I was learning, um, do, you hear, do you hear a girl crying, a woman crying? And... I never received an answer. It was like as if I didn't ask the question. And uh, we kept going on. I was taken from West Coast to East Coast, East Coast to West Coast, and we were moving down. We were down toward uh, the, literally, toward the, we were on the border of Mexico and uh, America. And by this time, I had already had asked Isaiah about uh, three times um, I stopped asking, do you hear a woman crying? I was asking, why is she crying? I keep hearing this woman crying. Why is she crying? 
And uh, um, he continued to explain to me and showing me all the bloodshed, all the bloodshed on that border. And I was just, just mortified. I was just like, what? You know, like, what? And I could hear this cry. And we were moving upward at this point in time. We were moving upward, moving upward, we were moving upward. And we were just about at Washington. And I said, okay, you have to tell me, who is this woman crying? Why is she crying? And Isaiah said, why don't you ask her? I said, I, I can. She can hear me? He said, oh, yes, she can. I said, she can. I can ask her? He said, I asked you. Why don't you ask her? I said, I'm not going to be in trouble. He said, no, because I thought, you know, is this my pride? He's not answering. You know, should I push it? Should I push it? You know, but my heart was breaking for this person. I'm going, I don't believe this. Like, my heart was literally breaking for her. And as I turned around, I remember just going, like I said, we weren't quite up at Washington State, so we were a state down. And um, uh, I went to her, and there was this woman, I guess, in her 20s, and she was dressed all in black, and she was um, uh, um, semi-laying on the ground, um, uh, um, semi-sitting, semi-laying, and sobbing, and sobbing, and sobbing. And I said to her, are you okay? Like, are, you know, like, can I help you? Can I do anything? You know, like, why are you crying? You know, let me help you if I can help you. And she was sobbing. And she lifted her head up and she turned her head to the left and she looked at me and she said, I am not a widow. I said, pardon me? She said, I am not a widow. And she was crying and crying and crying. I said, I don't understand. Okay, if you're not a widow, why, why are you crying? And she said, I am not a widow. And I said, um, I, I don't know how to help you because I'm not understanding what it is that you're telling me. I said, but I am going to go back and I'm going to ask him what it is that you mean because I, I'm just not understanding. And so I did. I, I lifted myself up and, you know, you know, two, two steps and boom, I was, in, I was in the other state. And so I reported to him. You know, I said, I, I did approach her. I did ask her and she just couldn't stop crying. I mean, she was just sobbing. And, and the only thing she said to me, and it made no sense. She said, I am not a widow. And he said, you do not understand that. And I said, no, you know, like, am I missing something here? And he said, yes. Yes, you are. And I'm, I, I'm going to show you. And I was like, oh, man, did I really want to know this? You know, like I, I, my heart went out to her and I wanted to help her, you know. But I mean, with all that I have been seeing and all that I had been experiencing, I'm going, did I really want to know this? Was my heart going to break, you know, even, even more so? Because there was times where I thought, whoa whoa okay and I, I mean and honestly if i didn't have god to turn to if i didn't have our lord you know to find solace in uh one flew over the cuckoo's nest and here comes johnny <laughs> you know um uh so uh he said i'll show you and i said you'll show me he said yes but first i'm going to tell you i said you're going to tell me and he said, yes, she is charged. And she's charged because of all her sins. I said, she's barely in her 20s. What could she have possibly done for people to turn a deaf ear? And then I was shown all the pornography and all the snuff films and the kids and the raping and killing and the beating of women and and killing people over the Mexican border and people 
being killed all over the world. And I was like, what is this? He said, what is called Mystery Babylon? I said, Mystery Babylon? Like Babylon, Babylon? Like I thought Babylon like, like went bye-bye. And he said, and she is the daughter. And I was like, I'm not going to argue with this. I am not going to argue with this. It, it, like, like I was like, I was really sick by what I was just shown. I really wanted to puke. I really wanted to throw up. And he said, brace yourself. And I just went, oh no, I think I asked for something I really didn't want to see. And boom, just like that. We were right smack in the middle of America. <laughs> And as I looked all around me, which I did a 360 degree turn, I didn't want to blink. I did not want to blink in fear of what I was going to see next. And what I saw next was one minute I was standing there and it was, like I said, you know, oh, I guess it was daytime. It was daytime between three and six, somewhere around there. Um, uh, huh. all of a sudden everything started to go dark and I'm like, how long have we been here? Like, like night is falling. He said, night's not falling. I said, night is not falling. He said, no, look up. And I looked up and as I looked up, I went, oh, holy, oh, it's really can't go over well and what I saw was I saw constellation and this constellation um, was was coming at us you know when I say us because I was right smack in the middle of America and I'm going what is that what is that and he said they're planets they're moons they're comets and I'm like okay and why is it dark he said because of the planets because of the moon, because of the comments, comments. And I went, okay, and help me out here. And to help me out here, and when as soon as I said that, bang, I was in the living room. And in this living room, there was an elderly couple, the sweetest people, just the sweetest people, God-loving, God-fearing, hard-working, just, just really... It just, you know, that's what gives me hope. You know, them and, and babies, little children, children of all ages, the elderly and children. And uh, this couple ended up sitting down and they were having dinner. And she said, you know, there was this warning. Don't you think we should, you know, pack up and get ready to go? Because um, unbeknownst to her husband, she did call one of their children and said, um, uh, I think we need to get out of here. Your dad, you know, it's, you know, he's waiting till the very end and I really don't have a good feeling about this and, and arranged with one of their children to, and they weren't from the U S so they were driving into the U S uh, to pick up uh, their parents. Um, and, and she kept saying, you know, we should be ready. We should be prepared. And he said, you know, you know, let's, let's wait to see what's on the evening news. And that's how I knew it was around six o'clock. And, um, uh, and, uh, there wasn't much of a blurb, you know, um, and by the way, um, electricity kept going on and off, 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 um, uh, <laughs> So when you were watching the news or anything else like this, it would be on and off, static on and off, on and off. And now I understand why, because of all the electrical interference, because we've got a couple of really huge balls of electricity coming our way. And we're not any, you know what, like we think we know it all on YouTube, Stellarium, this, that, blah, 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 blah. People, you have no idea of the hell that is on the way. No idea. I've only heard one person ever ever remotely describe what I had seen. And I've heard him on different sites and he has warned people. He said, look, when you start to see a little bit of red dust, you better know it's a couple of hours away. 
And if that dust gets thicker and thicker and thicker, well, you better know that it's on the doorstep. And that's real. This guy, what he's talking about, where he said, yeah, he looked at it in 1960 some odd, and he saw, you know, nothing but this, this haze, this red haze, all iron, all iron. And, you know, the way he described it, all of it, all of it, this guy's dead on. When this guy's telling you, you know, and, and he's leveling, he is leveling with you. And so... Um, uh, but I found this after the fact because I, you know, I've been mourning about this for, for well over a decade and, um, until, until, uh, 2017, until I heard this gentleman and I went, okay, yeah, you know, good. There is somebody else that is also going around, uh, telling people, I've told a lot of people and then I just finally decided, okay, I, I need to do this. Um, uh, uh, now, now, when we look at the signs, when we look at September 23rd and we look at Virgo and the impregnation of Jupiter, we look at um, uh, the house of Judah, um, it, it is flat out. It does say that these signs are, are for the Jewish people because um, uh, they, never, they, never, they, they never had their facts straight, if I might put, put it that way. And um, uh, therefore, they always wanted proof of what people were talking about, um, because you know it's easier for someone to be, you know, aloof and have their head up in the clouds, and you know, think think you know somebody that doesn't know anything are going to think these people are intelligent, and you know, I'm not I'm not talking to these people. I'm talking about everybody. Um, uh, and they know the truth, but the majority of the time, these people are uncertain. They want the proof and they'll push for it. And if you can't, they'll go, yeah, well, mm, knew it. There you go. Which is just absolutely stupid. It's immature. If you ask me. Hence, <coughs> uh, faith, relationship by faith, relationship by sight. Um, uh, so uh, getting getting back to getting back to uh, what I had seen, it all of a sudden got really dark in America, and uh, the last little while, when talking about the signs being for Israel, it does flat out say that the only place in the world that is going to experience darkness is going to be America. America can experience three hours of darkness. And when I heard this, I became a really uncomfortable in my skin. And that's when I started to go, okay, I need to say something. 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 And then what finally prompted me to actually say something was the fact that the people were actually thinking this was going to be the rapture. It's not. It's not. The sign in the sky is an indication that, yeah, God's word is God's word. And what's going to happen is going to happen, and it begins right now. And the first things first, okay, is this anomaly of planets, comets, stones, rocks, everything coming our way. And as closer it's coming, and the water's being pulled, the earth is being pulled, everything is being pulled, or electronics being pulled and we're having electronics coming this way and it is a recipe for mayhem so as i kept looking up looking up looking up looking up looking up a part of me was in that apartment with the elderly people the other part was standing there looking up at the sky and she finally said to her husband um uh, she admitted that she had called um uh, their son and daughter-in-law they were on their way to to pick them up and um, they had finished dinner. She closed up the TV trays and washed a couple of plates and whatnot. And uh, I am going to say that by the time um, uh, they were ready to walk out the door, um, it was already too late. And uh, what what had happened was um, uh, Chicken Little. Chicken Little happened. And there was everybody. Everybody was running around screaming, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. And we are talking about, you know, a Tommy gun and all the bullets, the array of bullets, a Tommy gun would not even have such the impact as to 
the rain that is going to fall and come down on America. And that is for all that America did. All that America did. What she was a part of. There's a lot of innocent people there. Um, uh, it really is up to people giving proper information and people having discernment and going yay or nay. You know, now, like I said, you don't have to believe me, but you're going to wish you did. I can't even say that it happens. You know, it is going to happen. Like I said, God's word is God's word. So September 23rd, what I'm really worried about September 23rd is that three hour of darkness. I've been praying and begging that what I saw uh, was not going to happen. Um, not going against God's judgment because God's judgment is true. But I mean, you know, from one who really does love mankind and love Christ, I just keep going, but the innocent, the innocent. And then I realized, wait a second, the innocent, nobody is going to be safe as long as this evil lives on this earth. There is, you know, and that's a huge number. There's almost a million children abducted yearly. And that's just in America alone. Now, how many people knew that figure? How many people knew that number? Almost a million children a year disappear in America. And I'll be generous, 89.9% .9 of them are sacrificed in one way, shape, or another whether to, to a god or food or blood or sold uh, sex toys, raped. It's almost a million yearly, yearly. So, you know, there's a lot that, that needs to be cleaned up. And then I finally went, okay, well, you know what? Then the only thing that we could do is, is talk, 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 talk. So what September 23rd, 2017 is really all about is that needle finally going, okay, we're there. And what happens when we're there, well, it begins to roll out. Here comes that carpet. And there are significant things that are going to happen um, during, during this next, uh, uh, next few years. So the one, um, either which way, either which way, I told everybody, as many people as I possibly can, get out. Just get out. Get out. If you have family abroad, go. If you're planning on a holiday, do it then. You know, get out. You do not want, like God said, come out of her, okay? Because I have to destroy her. So my children, come out of her. Have faith. You know, um, yeah, okay, it would suck. You're born there, you're raised there, and you're going, eh, do I, don't I, my career, this, that. I'll tell you something. You stay because of your career, there's not going to be a you or a career. It ain't going to happen. That's it. It's going to be flattened. That's it. Okay. When they talk about, you know, and I don't know if anybody realizes this, you know, which they should. And I know Christians do because you read your scripture, you know, there's going to be a, a stone the size of a mountain thrown into the Eastern part, <laughs> you know, and on the western part, we've got uh, earthquakes and these wonderful balls of, of fire, iron, like everything, like metal. Like, can you imagine? Okay, just for a moment. Okay, because I'm talking about the planets, the moons, the constellations, comets falling. <laughs> when you have that above your head, okay, and you think of everything, all the metal, all the satellites, absolutely everything that we put up into our skies, okay, they're all going to fall too. Is anybody thinking about that? You know, like, like there's a metal piece up there the size of a bus, okay? When you see that coming, you know, and it's coming from anywhere and everywhere, how are you going to run? What direction are you going to run? I mean, it was mayhem, absolute mayhem. It was mayhem. It was dark.
and there was water everywhere. The grid went down, and there was no going in America, no going out of America. There just wasn't. There's no way in, and there's no way out. And that is because of God's judgment. That's it. That's it. Going, okay, you know what? <laughs> this is how it is. And he cannot get it done if we've got little weasels, you know, looking to escape and do their dirty deeds somewhere else, which, by the way, I mean, it's happening internationally, you know, but, 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 you know, uh, yeah, Mystery Babylon is going to be honed in on. And that, that is just a fact. A lot of people wonder if it's uh, Rome. No, it's not Rome. No, it's not. And let me tell you, this Pope is constantly looking for Wormwood because this Pope knows. He knows. He knows what I know. <laughs> and what I know isn't really good for Rome. It's not really good for the Vatican. You know, like, like I was like, you know, the angel said, God hates. And hate is a pretty big word. I don't think I've ever heard an angel use the word hate. Hate that church. And I was like, God's church? That's not God's church. <laughs> They've committed so much bloodshed, so much murder, all for money, all for power. No, man, no. And it's also not uh, um, uh, uh, Mecca. Mecca's not Babylon either. <coughs> Mecca's going to be destroyed by Russia. <coughs> Mystery Babylon <coughs> is indeed the child. Now, Rome is actually um, uh, uh, an extension of Babylon. And um, uh, America is fairly young. So she is a child. That's a fact. Like, like I said, you don't need to believe me. The proof will be in the pudding. Uh, you'll just wish that you had. So um, uh, I, I advise everybody, anybody that's in an apartment, um, get an inflatable, get your batteries. Well, I don't know about batteries, really, because of the electricity that's going to be running over our heads. And, you know, the same way that these hurricanes um, uh, just kind of sat around certain states, certain cities, and didn't move, and it just kept raining and raining and raining and raining and raining. Um, the design for the destruction is, is just like this. So what September 23rd really is all about, like I said, it's whether you want to call it rolling, unrolling the carpet, rolling out the red carpet, the opening of the doors, the beginning of the end. You call it whatever, whatever you want, but before the end is there, God is going to have the whole world understand that God is God. Now you might go, okay, well, that's America. What about the rest of the world? <laughs> the rest of the world stands in horror. They're horrified. They're mortified. They're shocked. They're traumatized. They could not believe what is happening to America that was once one of the most powerful and generous countries. They instantly thought, okay, let's go in and help her. And then there was another one. Bang. Quick, 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 quick. We need to help her. America has helped other people. America wasn't always like this. Bang. By the time the world leaders corralled by the third, and they were about to go in, nobody can land. Nobody can. The fourth one came, and they went, this is unnatural. We now understand that this is God. And the countries of this world, atheist or not, are going, we understand supernatural, whether we want to say we believe in God or not, we know that this is real. And everybody backed up. There was nobody, 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 nobody. And so I was looking around going, holy gamoli Batman, you know, and then when I looked up, um, uh, that's when I had seen how close Nibiru came. And I believe that Nibiru was the seventh. It was like, boom, 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 boom. And by the time it was all well and done and over with, and it was going to be destroyed all in a day, all in a day, it was just super, 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 super eerie.
So after the fires and uh, the tidal waves and um, uh, water everywhere, there was no safe points. People were looking to go to safe points, being directed, you know, to to safety. Everybody was gone. Everybody was gone. There was such a fatality. Nobody was where they were supposed to be. Nobody. Nobody. So you need to understand now. You need to prepare. I've tried to reach out to a couple of people here, but there's so many people this, that, da, 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 da. Nobody wants to take the chance to step outside of themselves or, or, or it has everything to do with their ego. And, and uh, I only wanted to reach out because I had seen things and I thought, you know what? You people, you, you know, you preach the word of God and I need to get this to you so you could be in a safe zone and you can continue your testimony. But, you know, God's the one that, that, that chooses. It didn't happen, so I have to trust the fact that God has, has his reasons. And so um, um, after all was wet, well and done, and just when uh, you thought, I mean, it was, it was hell. It was hell. It, there was no other way to describe it. It was hell. It was hell. It was worse than any war. And I haven't fought in war. You know, I've been around where brigades have left bombs and we've had to crawl out of places and places blown up and so on and so forth. And I do have to thank God that I'm still alive. You know, my family's alive. Um, uh, by the time it was all well and done, um, it reminded me of total impact. Was it total impact or wait? No. That, no, it wasn't total impact. But total impact was when... Um, uh, uh, um, a mountain, a size, a rock, a stone, the size of a mountain hit uh, the East Coast. Well, the waters, anyway. Um, uh, um, Jeepers, I wish I could remember the, the name of that movie because it really reminded me of that movie. Um, um, I'll just describe it. Everything was barren. Uh, nothing shone. Nothing grew. Uh, the iron was so thick, so thick. Um, uh, you know, uh, you know, people were killing people for shoes, for remnants of food. Um, uh, oh man, it was just absolutely insane. It was, you know, I'm going to suggest too that everybody, uh, pick up masks to breathe. You need to do that because, I mean, outside of the waters and, and, Oh my goodness gracious, you know, whatever remnants are of people that are left, uh, that iron, um, uh, uh, when it falls, it's literally, it's going to be like thick. Okay. And, uh, nothing grows. Everything dies. Everything. Uh, and I was like, <sighs> I knew I didn't want to see any of this. I knew I didn't, but I can only think of God's glory. And the fact that, you know, his judgment is right. So everybody and anybody that is innocent, get out. Get out. You know, even if you have to buy, you know, a small fixer-upper, you know, somewhere, you know, just as long as you're not in the heart, as long as you're not in America, like I said, right? Like, from one border to the next border, we're talking about a complete shutdown. So September 23rd, um, I see what September 23rd really is, um, uh, is, is a remedy for disaster. That's when absolutely everything begins. And what begins is the shaking, the shaking, the water, the water breaking, you know, um, the earth is giving birth. People go, oh, it's, you know, it's the birth of the Antichrist. Yet, yeah, no, it ain't happening. It's not that way. It's not that way. It's literally a date that says to you, if you don't put on those running shoes, you're hopping. <laughs> you're not running anywhere. You're not. You're hooped. You know, you better have your shoes ready. You better have your heart ready. You better have your, your mind ready. You better get your head around the fact Okay, that none of this is horseshit. There, I said it. None of it is a lie. None of it is crap. None of it. None of it. Is it out there? I'm really sorry to say, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Is it the rapture? No. 
No, it isn't. And I'll tell you why. And that is because when I jumped in and I saw everybody praying and I looked around and I went, this is earth. I still have to tell you about that. So, you know, I am going to say, hey, listen, these prophecies are there to probe your mind, your spirit, your thoughts, your knowledge. It's there to shake it up. It's there to shake it up. What I'm going to tell you during these prophecies is going to be enough where you're going to go, oh, I really hope that, 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 that woman's wrong. I really hope Diggins wrong. I really hope so. And I'll tell you something. I've cried enough in my lifetime. I've prayed for each and every soul, born and unborn. And that uh, God is graceful. And by the way, he is graceful because I did see the rapture. I didn't realize I saw the rapture until somebody I love dearly said, did you realize you saw the rapture? It's like, Dang, I was shown the rapture, dog diggity. And now I get it because everybody's supposed to know. Is September 23rd the rapture? No, it is not. Is September 23rd going to be the day that the Lord shows up? No, it is not. It is the day when that ticking bomb goes off. So it's wind, 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 pull that string, watch that clock. Tick, 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 tick. Like all these hidden September 23rd, September 23rd, and all the movies, this, that, so on and so forth. Houston has a huge problem. That's just a metaphor. And, 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 and why, okay, these people have access to our skies. Do you not think that they don't know how close this anomaly of heavenly bodies are to us? They do. Do they know when shit's going to hit the fan? Oh, yes, they do. Do they know the date that everything begins to roll out? Absolutely, they do. Why? How? Because they were the initiators. They were the initiators. They were the reason why God said, okay, that's it. That's enough. I'm pulling back. This is what you want. Okay. Nothing, I, nothing more I can do. And then when I get to that and I share with you our Lord, whether you want to call him Bartholomew or Jesus, it doesn't matter. He's our savior. When I share that, you're going to go, I got it. Ding, 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 ding. Then you'll understand. Then you'll have a better understanding as to when Christ will appear because he will appear. He doesn't come along. He's locked and loaded. There's thousands, thousands that come with him. Thousands. And you know, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to wrap it up. Even then, even then, I had to say to somebody, get behind me, Satan. Even now, you are influencing people and saying, don't go. And I said, and you think this is any better? So you would rather be here while all this is going on and not leaving? He's been prophesied for thousands of years. His return has been prophesied. So you always need to watch that Double tongue, you need that bite by a bite by a backbiter. Uh, uh, watch your influences. Don't be seduced. Don't be uh, fooled. Don't. Don't follow your heart. If your heart is saying, hey, listen, okay, because you're going to know. You know, the Antichrist will be here and everybody be running, going, look, 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 there he is. There he is. I know I was taken there. I was taken there and 13 years ago, I was taken. I was shown this. And the angel said, stop. And I said, people are saying that, that the Lord is here. And he said, yes, but that's not the Lord. So I'm going now, I'm going, oh man, I'm so grateful. I mean, how many times would I have literally got, <laughs> I would have done it to myself, not knowing the better. So I'm telling you, know the better. Know the better. When he shows up, he shows up locked and loaded. 
And I'm not talking about ammunition, not that kind of ammunition. And he doesn't come along. There are thousands in his army, thousands. So September 23rd, is it the rapture? No, no, definitely not. Now I might be unpopular, you know, because of this, but I'm going to say, uh, if you don't believe me, you eventually will. The proof is always in the pudding. Then I will tell you about Jerusalem. Then I will tell you about Israel. Then, before this, I will tell you about the Lord. I will tell you what happens. I will tell you what the world will look like, what condition mankind will be in upon his return. So, America, there's three hours of darkness, each and every one of you, in that corporation, because America is not a country, it is a company, the Virginia Company, owned by the monarchy, the queen. So, is it all about salvation? Well, you know what? I'm going to pray that September 23rd isn't the rolling out of Mystery Babylon coming to an end. Because like I said, while America was being pulverized, I mean pulverized, the world was watching. Okay, and we still all had our computers and TV and, you know, I mean, yeah, we're experiencing more and more and more and more and more and more and more um, electrical issues dropping up, you know, uh, technology and, and calls and so on and so forth. But when this was happening to America, the world stood mortified in horror going, oh, I can't believe this is happening. It's only this one country that's getting beaten down to nothing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's happening with earthquakes and it's happening with, 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 with floods and tsunamis and rains and so on and so forth. Um, some of those are man-made. But what is about to happen, the lockdown that is about to happen, uh, really has to do with prophecy. It has to do with prophecy. Enough is enough is enough. So the innocent, you that are innocent, you that love God, you that know, get out. Get out. Am I saying get out by uh, two days from now? No. But what I'm saying is, okay. Now we got a red flag. Now you have to earnestly, earnestly prepare. Take your holidays, do what you need to do, relocate. It'll be the best thing that you could have done. Why? It promises you survival. It does. So, you know, is there going to be a birth of Jupiter from Virgo? Yes, absolutely. An astronomer said, I saw 13 stars. I went, duh, 12 disciples and our savior. That would make about 13. Yep. Okay. So look, you know, before it happens, because it is going to happen, it, 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 it is. You know, maybe people haven't made it as clear because I know they haven't made it as clear. People are like, maybe this, maybe that. Just be people going, hey, look at these tsunamis are going to be really real. These waves are going to be this high, so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. Even the elites, their asses are going to be kicked. And they are. And if by chance you don't believe in Lucifer, okay, you don't believe that any of this is real, well, again, I'm going to say you better lock and load, okay? Because when these bandits come after you, there is no smoky. There's no smoky. None. Lucifer is real. The battle is real. The, the desire to kill mankind is real. Uh, so we, are we going to get to all this wonderful, brand new trans, transhumanism, blah, 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 blah. Everything's going to be cut short. Yes, they're still going to have that technology, but that technology is going to be implemented after the shift. Yes. How do I know? Because God gave me a gift, and that gift 
was bringing me there, showing me and saying, I know you love me. Talk about it. I've always been told, don't worry about being wrong. I've been told that going, Lord, uh, what if I'm not saying something right? What if I don't understand it? What, what, what? And yeah, what, what, what? And I was told, don't worry. Don't worry about being wrong. So I'm not worried about being wrong. I can only tell you what I saw for a fact. And like I said, you don't believe me. You don't have to believe me, but you will. So September 23rd, is it the rapture? No. Should you prepare for the rapture? No. Should you be thinking about the rapture? Yeah. But it's not September 23rd. It's not September 24th. Between September 23rd and October 14th, shit's going to hit the fan. People are going to say, no, they're going to expect this. They're going to expect that. Da, 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 da. Remember, he comes as a thief in the night. So that means, okay, that we're not going to know. We're not going to know. We are specifically not going to know when the rapture is going to happen. Why? Uh, so we can be held accountable. Period. You know, and if you happen to decide to put lead in somebody's head, pop up, or you decide to kill somebody, or you decide to rob, okay, the Lord's going to bust you as you're doing it. He's not going to say, hey, I'm going to be home on that day and such and such. And what are you going to do? You're going to do what any, any other kid's going to do. You're going to do what any other mouse is going to do. The cat's away, the mouse will play, right? So are you going to know the day of the rapture? No. But I will definitely tell you what to look for, what the world is going to look like, what has already happened, in what condition man is in. They, there are signs, and these signs are given to people um, um, in visions. And, and I'm not happy, you know, the only thing I'm really happy about is uh, the outcome. One, uh, I saw the New Jerusalem, and wow, beautiful, oh man, beautiful. You know, now uh, we're up there looking down at the day, of, uh, the day of the Lord, and I'm glad I'm not here on the day of the Lord. I don't want to be here on the day of the Lord. And people talk about this earth not being destroyed. Um, God says flat out that there's a new earth. God says flat out that there's a new Jerusalem. And when I was flying with Christ, and yes, I'm going to reiterate what I said. When I was flying around the ethers with our Lord, and he was showing me, and he was talking to me, and I was learning, he knew my heart broke for mankind. And he was telling me, look, these people are evil. It's nothing that he takes any pleasure in. The only pleasure that, that he takes is that all the innocent people aren't going to be killed. They're not going to be tortured. They're not going to be raped. They're not going to be mutilated. You know, that's the only pleasure that he gets out of all of this is knowing that that evil is finally going to be abolished. It's finally going to be put out, finally. So, um, um, I do have to say, please, uh, don't argue over this 23rd of September. It is a very significant date. Um, it does talk about the Lord uh, being born, the, the coming. Um, I believe September 23rd is also a sign of, of, of the other sacrifice. Because when you stop to think about Jupiter, you know, just coming out dancing right in front and sacrificing itself, and everybody saying that Jupiter is the planet of the Messiah, well, doesn't that make sense? Didn't he do that already? Where he, we completely destroyed him. We broke him up in pieces. We killed him. But he did it so we could all live. You know, kind of reminds me of history repeats itself. Um, uh, but this point in time, I'm going to say three cheers to, to Jupiter. And uh, um, double that when it comes to uh, uh, God's plan. And uh, we'll do a little bit of this, that uh, um, we, we have a heavenly bother, brother that bothered, that bothered to care 
that really bother to care. Because when I tell you about that, um, uh, uh, the people that I have told, um, they were stumped. They were shocked. They were speechless. They just went, what? And I said, yeah, check that out. You know, and yeah, I'm going to say it. I was asked to say it. I was asked to share it. I'm happy to do so. I think we should all know the truth about the matter. So this way we can all love Christ. And we can realize exactly how important and how precious we really are. So while, you know, the skies are getting dark and shit's hitting the fan, uh, we can say to ourselves, wait a minute wait a minute, I know this to be true, so um, I'm just going to start paying attention now, and I'm looking at my, I want to be watch on my hand, and start counting down uh, that bomb, like I said, September 23rd is the plug, that's when it starts, tick, 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 uh, what's the purpose, uh, the purpose is getting the world ready for Satan, because as long as anything grows here, <laughs> yeah, he wants it to be dead, burning, like, well, you just wait. I'll share with you. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up, okay? Um, uh, please know what September 23rd is about. Like I said, you don't have to believe me, but you eventually will. Um, uh, get, get, get yourself ready. Really get yourself ready. Everybody keeps saying, get ready, get ready, get ready. And they're going, what more can I do to get ready? Well, you know, look for the next couple of videos, okay? And uh, really look for Digging the Vibe, the next couple of videos. Because during September 22nd, right through to October 14th, I'm telling you everything. It is important. And then you're going to understand why everybody keeps saying, get ready, get ready, get ready. What do you have to get ready is your understanding this and this they have to agree and the only way that they're going to agree is by knowledge knowledge sets us free so is the sky gonna fall September 23rd I sure the hell hope not because I know at what point in time the sky does open up for America and she gets a whooping and I mean, such a whooping, it's all within 24 hours. I mean, we are, like I said, it is absolute hell on earth. I was screaming, begging Isaiah to lift me and take me out of there. I did not want to be there. I just, and I'll tell you, it's not like, you know, you cry, oh, what a really bad experience, and then you get over it. No, it never leaves you, ever, ever. Seeing these things, prophesying these things, it changes you. It never leaves you. So when people say, look, please do your homework, find God and find someone that knows what they're talking about. Seriously. Because when you say to people, you can't be saved if it's not through Jesus, they don't get it. They don't know what the heck you're talking about because nobody's ever explained it right. Maybe, maybe, maybe when Jesus walked on earth, you know, but nowadays, uh, look at these pastors. These churches have become whores, whores selling themselves. They've become prostitutes. The only church that is real is Christ. That's it. He's the only church. We're the body. We are the physical body of the church. In here. In here. That's it. But all these others, all these others, all these others, that ain't happening. And, you know, like I said, I might become really unpopular, but I really don't care. My responsibility is to our Lord. My responsibility is to God. Period. So if I become unpopular, oh, well, but you will know that I was telling you the truth. So, September 23rd, do yourself a favor. Boots, water, gas mask, and lead. You're going to be going, like, what? Yeah, you heard me. Lead, 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 lead. So, is September 23rd going to be the end of the world? No, that's just everybody needs to pray it's not the end of America. All right. On that note, I am going to say, Start your prayers now. If you want to fast, fast now. 
um, this next uh, two weeks. And oh, by the way, you know what I really think too? I, and you know, I want to cringe. At first I understood it, but now I really want to cringe. You've got some people going, hey, this is information, this is information, this is information, but I'm not setting dates, but I'm not prophesying, I am not predicting. And I say, then why bother? This is my face. This is my face. This is me. I am predicting. I am prophesying. I am telling you. This is going to happen. It is. Do we know when? No. No, we don't. God says we won't know. But at least God gave me landmarks that I am going to share with you. And they are enough landmarks that you can go ding, 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 ding. And you can protect yourself. You can protect your husband. You can protect your wife. You can protect your children. You can protect your grandchildren. You can protect your parents. You can protect your grandparents. We can protect each other. So whether you love God, you know God, you don't know God. Hey, listen, he knows you. He loves you. Is Christ his son, our brother real? Yes. Does he love us more than you know, but I'll tell you, and I will tell you, and then you're going to go, Hey, wait a minute. Maybe I should rethink this. Maybe I really should rethink this. And I want you to, that's the whole purpose in this. So everybody let's start now. Let's start praying now. I don't care how you pray. I don't care what language that you pray. A prayer takes 30 seconds going, Hey God, you know what? I wouldn't mind it if you did. I'd be really grateful. And that is, let's pray for America. We need to pray for America. What is about to happen is enough. Like I said, I'm still grieving. I still cry. You know, how do you stop it? And then I realized it's not supposed to be stopped. You know, God said, come out of her. My children come out of her. And I'm here to tell you, God's word is true. It's true. If it's written in that Bible, you best protect your hiney, honey, honey. Because I'll tell you, if that hiney ain't protected, grass is grass and God's the lawnmower. Okay. So I'm going to say, I bid you an adieu.